Good morning, Belvedere Bucks. Today is November 7th, 2023. I'm JC Gordon. And I'm Elisa Gernatra, bringing, bringing you your, your weekly, weekly news. news. Good morning, Bucks. It's officially November, so that means Thanksgiving is around the corner. Yes, but this week we have a few things, like another you know, late start tomorrow, so make sure you set your late alarms. We also have No School for Veterans Day, and thank you all for the service that you guys have done for us and our country. Now on to an interview with someone who's serving right now. Hey VNN, I'm here with um, Sergeant Kenny today and we're going to be talking about the military and everything about it. Um, so I have a few questions for you, is that okay? Yep. Alright, so, my phone turned off. One moment though. Okay, what branch of the military do you serve? I'm in the Army. Alright, and what do you, like, can you give us a rundown on basically what you guys do? All right, well, I'm in the infantry. So mostly what we do is field training. So we'll go out into the field and we'll run like our sticks or our field uh, training exercises, which is gonna be uh, taking our weapons and our equipment and going uh, and attacking positions, moving through the woods with rocks on, and uh, conducting ambushes and a bunch of other battle drills. All right. And can you tell us how the first couple days or months was like serving away from your family and everything? Yeah. Uh, so first I was at Fort Drum in New York when I first joined. And when I first showed up there, it was, uh, it was a little weird because they were all on deployment when I showed up there. So no one was really left behind. It was only a few people. So mostly what we did was really just clean the barracks and go over classroom stuff, but when they eventually returned, it turned into uh, immediately hit the ground running back to training, going out to the field, uh, doing our weapon calls, just a bunch of stuff like that. And being away from the family, it's it was a new experience because I was always in Illinois, never left, ever did the whole college thing, went straight to the military. So it was definitely a new experience. Yeah. And um, are you over, have you gone overseas? And is it, yes. is it different than how you normally? Oh, for sure. Like I went to Afghanistan, Kuwait, a bunch of Middle Eastern places. And it, the culture there is so different. Like it, it, the, the biggest thing they, they taught me when I first left, it was if they offer you tea, accept the tea. It is a great insult if you don't accept their tea. Uh, you can't, like, uh, talk or look at their women. They're all in their dresses and stuff. It's a huge insult to them. Uh, that it, peace sign or a thumbs up is a huge insult to them, too. So it's very, like, weird time to be careful of what you do, just not to insult their culture when you're over there. Yeah. And then how is your communication with your family? Because I know there's a lot of times where... Um, soldiers can't talk to their family for long periods of times and it really affects them. So is there, does that definitely play a part into it? Oh yeah, I, especially with how much we're like, in the field, like I'm in Alaska right now. So when I'm in the field, it's no phones, no nothing. We'll be on the field for like a month. And so you won't even, you have no outside connection for a month. When I was deployed, you're lucky to get service anywhere there and I was there for 10 months so I, I probably got a call in maybe once every three months and what do you recommend for the younger generation that's looking to join the army for that I'd highly recommend if you're going to do it join early I've been with a lot of guys that joined in their mid 20s late 20s early 30s even and they just, it's hard for them to adapt after having a normal job. Like, this is not a normal job at all. And, like, having to take orders from someone younger than you is just weird. Like, I've had guys under me that are, like, 30 years old. And it's definitely a learning curve when it comes to something like that. It's all about rank and not age here. All right. And then that's all I have for you. So, thank you. Um, it was a pleasure. <laughs>
seniors. Listen up. If you didn't already, make sure you go to your email and fill out the information on the cap and gown. That will be due by the end of this month. Now on to sports with KJ and Cielo. Hey Bucks, I'm KJ. And I'm Cielo. And welcome back to your BNN Sports segment. We have an important announcement to make about school sports and athletes who wish to sign up for them. It's about something called eligibility. You must keep your grades above F to be able to participate in your school sport of choice. If you are unable to keep your grades up, you won't be playing in school sports. Scary, we know, but we trust and know that all you Bucks can keep your grades up so you'll never miss a game. Now looking towards Major League Baseball, where the MLB postseason has concluded, as well as the World Series, the Texas Rangers have come out as the champions. Shortstop Corey Seager of the Texas Rangers was named playoff MVP, and all it took for the club to win the World Series was five games against the Diamondbacks of Arizona for them to stop their 62-year drought and back-to-back -back World Series losses in 2010 and 2011 in Game 5, 5-0 five to secure it. That's all for this episode. Go Bucks. Hey there Bucks. I'm Mariah Buell. And I'm Mary Gonzalez. Welcome to this week's weather. Starting off strong with Tuesday, November 6th, we are getting a high of 54 degrees with cloudy skies. We'll be ending Tuesday with a low of 42 degrees and with 40% chance of rain. Wednesday won't be much of a difference with a high of 51 and a low of 38 with rains and showers all day long. It's going to be a bit of a drop in temperature in the end of the week, Thursday, getting a high of 46 degrees with, and cloudy with a, low 32, with a low of 32 degrees. It's going to be pretty cold and windy. Friday and Saturday won't be changing at all, with only the difference being on Friday, which is going to be as low as 29 degrees. On Sunday, it will be rainy once again, along with being cold and windy, and the high being 48, dropping to 40 degrees. Make sure you guys bring jackets and umbrellas. Thanks for tuning in to weather. Stay warm and go Bucks.